It's the Mile High's new home for hip hop, the new Flow 107.1. It's DJ Beds. And I'm sure. I'm Cassidy Bednark, but my persona, I guess you could call it, is, is DJ Beds, the White Shadow. For about 10 years, I've been a third party uh, financial contributor. And I'd say for roughly half that period of time, I've also been an honorary board member at Safe House. I'm sure at some point over the years, you've heard me talking about Safe House Denver. And he came in and he was wearing basketball shorts and a baseball hat. And I was a little taken aback at this person donating hundreds of dollars, not your typical looking philanthropist. But I quickly got to know him and really immediately saw his passion for supporting survivors of domestic violence. Just to refresh your memory, they're, they're a fantastic local nonprofit organization that I hold near and dear to my heart. They it all started off with the whole Mix CD project where I decided it was a good idea to donate the proceeds from my, my mixes that I was selling. I would go over to his little apartment when he was working and trying to pay off his college loans and he was sitting there at two o'clock in the morning making CDs so that he could go sell those CDs for $5 and give all that money to Safe House Denver. At least back when compact discs were still a thing, but even now we've we've adapted and done some cool stuff in terms of the Papa Shot uh, fundraiser annually. We go to Dave & Buster's once a year and we play on the, the big hoop and he almost always beats me and then we get to the little one and then I'm I always beat him there. It's just a fun way of fundraising and you know, it gives us a, a great afternoon and great content and it's a win all the way around. They help women and their families address issues of domestic violence. Cassidy in his 10 years of dedication to Safe House Denver has been directly responsible for more than $28,000. And to put that into perspective, that is a week of safe shelter for 52 adults. Well, if you are somebody that you love, needs a little help or even just some information. It's such a, a misrepresented and underfunded community, domestic violence organizations, and the fact that he brings voice and his personality to it is something that really can't be understated. The building blocks of our families and our communities are the emotional and physical safety of our mothers, of our sisters, of our, of our daughters and our spouses. And if that's not in place, then everything else just begins to deteriorate around it. He understands that he has a responsibility to the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite remarkable for me as a, as a mother. It's really great that he's being recognized for it, but I guarantee you that the satisfaction he gets is, is knowing that he's impacting lives every day. They have a 24 hour crisis hotline you can call whenever you like. That number. And we are yeah. just absolutely certain that his reach has not only helped new volunteers, new donors, access Safe House Denver, but surely he has reached somebody who needs the services that we offer and has made them aware that these services exist. He serves as uh, inspiration to everybody around him. You know, his level of patience and kindness and thoughtfulness is just unmatched. So it's, it's easy to want to be on his team. Just the essential belief that everybody deserves to be treated uh, fairly and, and treated equally. If that's something you hold to be true, I, I don't see how you couldn't then in turn support a cause like Safe House. His devotion to Safe House Denver hasn't wavered and he's still just as enthusiastic about it today as he was a decade ago. It's pretty amazing.